problem of missing TPS tiles on SpaceX's Starship rocket is not new, but it seems to have reached a critical juncture. On Saturday morning, the Steel Giant, which stands at more than 120 meters and is the most powerful rocket ever built, soared over the South Texas coast in a spectacular display of engineering and beauty. But as stunning as the sight was, it also revealed a serious flaw in the rocket's heat shield. In fact, many tiles were missing or damaged, raising doubts about the rocket's ability to withstand the extreme temperatures of atmospheric re-entry. How will SpaceX address this issue? What are the implications for the future of Starship and its missions? Join us today on Great SpaceX as we explore these great questions and more. SpaceX's latest test flight of Ship 25 and Booster 9 was a valuable learning experience for the company, but it also left behind some unexpected souvenirs for the fans. Many Starship heat shield tiles were found scattered on South Padre Island after the launch. These tiles are made of ceramic material and are designed to protect the stainless steel structure of the spacecraft from the intense heat of re-entry. However, it seems that many of them failed to stay attached to the Starship during the flight. Some of them even fell off at an early stage, as seen in this photo. This could have been a fatal problem if Ship 25 had attempted to re-enter the atmosphere, which was not the plan for this mission. SpaceX's ultimate goal is to develop a fully reusable rocket system, but that will require a reliable thermal protection system for the Starship upper stage. This is not the first time that the TPS tiles have fallen off during Starship test flights, but it's a new challenge for SpaceX, especially after the damage caused by the first orbital flight attempt. What caused the tiles to fall off on Saturday? SpaceX might have already solved this issue, but it was too late for Ship 25. Unlike previous flights, they did not test each tile individually with a suction cup to verify their adhesion. We hope to see better results in the next launch when Ship 28 will fly with a fully tested TPS. SpaceX will have to address several issues before it can attempt the third Starship test flight, as required by the FAA. One of these issues is the heat shield problem, which SpaceX will need to find a more reliable way to attach the tiles to the rocket, either by using a stronger adhesive or by installing them on an elevator. The heat shield is crucial for protecting the Starship from the extreme temperatures of re-entry. SpaceX will also have to complete a list of other corrective actions that the FAA will approve and monitor for public safety reasons. It's an absolute necessity when considering the ultimate goal of Starship. Imagine a spacecraft flying at more than 7 kilometers per second and facing temperatures of over 1600 degrees Celsius as it plunges through the atmosphere. It looks like a fireball but it doesn't melt. How is that possible? The answer is heat shields, which protect the spacecraft and its crew from the extreme heat of re-entry. Heat shields are made of special materials that burn off when they get very hot, creating a layer of gas that acts as a thermal barrier. Without them, the spacecraft would be destroyed. But heat shields are not invincible. In 1988, the space shuttle Atlantis returned from a secret mission with over 700 damaged or missing tiles on its heat shield. The damage was caused by debris hitting the shuttle during launch. The crew did not know how bad it was until they landed at Edwards Air Force Base and saw the white marks on the black tiles. The commander of the mission, Robert Hoot Gibson, later said he thought they were going to die. Luckily, they survived because a steel plate under the tiles absorbed most of the heat. SpaceX has spent a long time developing a heat shield capable of safely returning orbital starships back to Earth. These tiles are designed to protect the rocket during atmospheric re-entry, or entry if we're talking about other planets. The ship will enter Mars's atmosphere at speeds of around 27,000 kilometers per hour. It'll slow itself down using a belly flop maneuver similar to the skydiving technique of the same name. Starship will have to withstand some high temperatures. The air hitting the space shuttle during re-entry reached around 1650 degrees Celsius as it compressed against the surface. Perseverance, NASA's latest Mars rover, reached similarly toasty temperatures of around 1300 degrees Celsius when it entered the planet's atmosphere in February. SpaceX chose stainless steel for the Starship to better protect against those high temperatures. In a January 2019 interview with Popular Mechanics, Musk explained that aluminum and carbon fiber operate in a steady state up to around 150 degrees Celsius. Stainless steel, on the other hand, can reach up to 870 degrees Celsius. That's an improvement, but it means that the steel will need some help to endure a landing. The crucial aspect is that Starship's tiles are affixed to the stainless steel exterior using 
missing studs. Musk also fixed the problem with the missing tiles on Starship by inserting a white, flexible ceramic fiber mat between the back of the tile and the stainless steel of the Starship. That mat is probably something like Cow Wool 3000, which can be used up to approximately 1530 degrees Celsius without fail. Even if one or more tiles fall off, that mat will still be adhered to the ship. In theory, Starship's structure can thus withstand and remain functional at temperatures approaching 800 degrees Celsius, whereas the shuttle's heat shield had to keep the vehicle's aluminum structure below around 180 degrees Celsius. Of course, so far, Starship has yet to attempt to survive an orbital velocity re-entry with some 25,000 ceramic heat shield tiles mounted directly to its steel skin. But if successful, SpaceX's ultra-simple design could give Starship massive advantages over the shuttle, which ultimately proved to be more dangerous than traditional crew capsules and about as expensive as a similarly capable expendable rocket. SpaceX is aiming to make the upper stage fully reusable, which will be a first in the aerospace world. The company already reuses the first stage boosters of its Falcon 9 rockets, but it has to manufacture a new second stage for each mission. Therefore, the second stage remains a big component of the launch costs of a Falcon mission, even if SpaceX reuses the first stage. Unlike the Falcon 9's second stage, which is not designed to transport humans, Starship's upper stage will double down as both a cargo and crew transportation, depending on the mission profile. The heat shield is crucial for Starship's survival, as it'll flip itself at an angle that exposes the shield to either the Earth or Mars's atmosphere. A tiny error in this area will result in the spacecraft's disintegration during landing, which in turn threatened the lives of crew on board should it receive a human rating. The heat shield tiles are hexagonal, and thousands of these are mounted on Starship. A video shared by SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk in 2019 showed them successfully withstanding high temperatures. In the same thread, Musk explained that their hexagonal shape is due to the fact that it does not provide a straight path for hot gas to accelerate between the gaps. SpaceX manufactures these tiles in a facility in Florida that is referred to as the bakery. And there you have it, folks. That's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.